Avocado farming is a lucrative business that is growing in popularity. Avocado fruit is in great demand in the market with its many medical benefits and can be sold for a good price at the market. Avocado farming is the best business for farmers because it easy and more profitable business with less labor and less cost. Avocado farming has been economically more profitable business for a long time because once you start cultivating it you will get avocado fruit for many years. Dear viewers, today in this video we will try to explain the method of avocado farming step by step and advantages and disadvantages. Avocado cultivation is suitable in tropical and semi-tropical humid areas. Avocado plants cannot tolerate hot dry winds and frost. They grow best in true tropical to the warmer regions of the temperate area. The optimum temperature is 20 to 24 degrees Celsius. Temperatures should not be in any case above 36 degrees Celsius because hot dry weather may cause the avocado fruit to drop prematurely. Although avocados are fairly resistant to drought, well distributed rainfall of 1000 to 2500 millimeters is needed for proper crop development. Thus you need an irrigation system if there is not enough rainfall in your region. Avocado fruits can be grown well in all variety of soils except on polydrain soils as these plants are very sensitive to water logging. Don't plant in saline soils for these avocado plants cannot tolerate saline conditions. The soil pH should be between 5.0 and 7.0 for better growth and good yield. The land should be plowed, cross plowed and leveled well before planting seedlings on the soil. Weed from the previous crop should be discarded before planting seedlings. Prepare the land in such way that water stagnation should not occur in field because avocado plants can't tolerate water logging. You should add as much organic content as you can while preparing the soil. To improve the soil, lime, calcium and phosphorus should be mixed well in the soil. Before planting the seedlings, dig a hole of size. 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters. The farmer should use two buckets of farmyard manure properly mixed with the topsoil, some amount organic manure, and 250 grams of double superphosphate fertilizer and a certified insecticide to fill the planting holes. Planting should be after the onset rains when the rainwater has properly penetrated the soil. Irrigate the newly planted seedlings until the first shoots appear. Sometimes, the young grafted avocado seedlings might need to be tied up with sticks to support them. Commonly the plant spacing of 5 meters to 10 meters is recommended in the avocado plantation. The application dose and proportion of manures and fertilizers are generally based on the soil fertility, tree age, growth and yield. For the young orchards where manures are applied in the pits before planting, fertilizers, mainly liquid nitrogen are applied in frequent low doses. For the mature orchards, mainly nitrogen and potassium fertilizers are applied three to four times annually, separately in February to April, April to May, and July to September. Phosphorus fertilizer and organic manures are mixed and applied before and after avocado fruits are harvested. Avocado plants require about 25 millimeters water per week. The main roots are very shallow, thus drip or micro sprinklers are best suited for the plants. Winter season mulch the avocado plants with dry grass or dry leaves to retain the moisture level. During the rainy season, there is no need. In case of any special pests and diseases in avocado fruit cultivation, measures should be taken by contacting the nearest horticulture department or agriculture department to control them. Avocado trees take about three to five years to produce their first crop of avocados. 